Start sharing the live, please, and thank you. Start to share the live to your friends and to your families and to your group. Glory, hallelujah. Good morning, everyone.
Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sister Ophelia. Sister Janet, good morning. Sister Rasta Verklokin, good morning. Share. We need at least 50 share. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, start sharing. The, start sharing the video. Sister Stacy, good morning. Kareen, oh, good morning. Oh, if you know you're going to roll the sea away, then good morning. Good morning. Roll the sea away. We still on our fasting. We have started the fasting on the third. So we are rolling the sea away through our fasting. Fasting continues. 21 day fasting. Roll the sea away. Father, we come before you this morning. We give you thanks and praise for life. We give you thanks and praise for grace. We give you thanks and praise for mercy. We give you thanks and praise for wisdom. We give you thanks and praise for knowledge. We give you thanks and praise, oh God, for rolling the sea away this morning. As we are about to go live, Father, roll the sea away. Roll the debris away. Roll bad mind away, God. Roll red eye away, Father. Roll the wicked away. Let God arise and all the enemies be scattered, shut a batter. Mighty God, burn them in flames and fire. You are God of God. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. Mighty God, you are the elect. There is none like you, none before you. And there is none like you, my God. Lord God, you are our burden bearer. You are our miracle worker. You are the great I am that I am. Come on now, people. Worship. Share the videos. Roll the sea away. Each person share the videos ten times while we roll the sea away. Rosette, good morning. Ellie, good morning. Marianne, good morning. Roll the sea away. My God, if God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, who can be against you? Roll away, bad man. Worship. While you worship, you share. Give God some praise. Roll the sea away. Roll the sea away. Roll the sea away. Shall we pray? Almighty God and Father, we come before you. We give you thanks and praise. Mighty God, for life, for grace, for mercy. We thank you for what you have already done and what you are about to do. Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace, great Emmanuel God, great Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Great Jehovah Nisi, great Jehovah Shalom, author and finisher of our faith. Father, as we come before you this morning, oh God, we are lifting.
lifting you up. We are glorifying your name, O oh God. We are thanking you for rolling the sea away this morning. Father, as we are still on our fasting, O oh God, I am asking you, O oh God, at this time to roll the sea away this morning. Roll a bad mind away this morning. Roll enviousness away this morning. Roll wicked people away this morning. Roll, O oh God Almighty, and keep rolling, O oh God. Father, I'm asking thee to touch this vessel of mine. Father, where there is ages, let there be love. Where there is sadness, joy. Where there is despair, hope. Father, I'm asking thee, O oh God, at this time to cover me through this life this morning, O oh God. Coverage, coverage, I pray. Mighty God of Daniel, I'm asking thee, O oh God, to send forth the Holy Spirit this morning to lead and rule and direct and guide and protect, O oh God, this morning on this line. I pray, O oh God, strength and redeemer. Father, many are in the land of the dead, but we are still in the land of the living. Lord, we lift you, we glorify your name and telling you thank you for life. The greatest gift you can ever give to us is life and life more abundantly. Lord, we thank you. Father, we present the people that joined the line this morning. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. Give them knowledge. Give them healing. I pray, O oh God, strength and redeem. Mighty God, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, O oh God Almighty, send forth your Holy Spirit this morning. Father, touch this vessel of mine. Cleanse this vessel, I pray, O oh God strength and redeemer touch this tongue of mine cleanse this tongue i pray oh god strength and redeemer father if i've sinned against thee oh god i ask you so much for forgiveness oh god almighty father we live to please god and god alone we don't live to please man oh god when man and earth forsake it then the lord will take you up teach me thy way oh lord and lead me into your path i decree and declare oh god almighty strength and redeemer father i'm asking thee oh god at this time to touch every one of us lungs kidneys oh god almighty liver O oh God Almighty, chest, back, waistline, O oh God Almighty, touch all the sick and afflicted one. Straighten us out this morning, O oh God, all those who have blood pressure issue, cholesterol issue, Lord. Cancer, lupus, O oh God, heal them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh Father, strength and redeemer, you are healer, problem solver, miracle worker, burden bearer. Father, we know that you will roll the sea away this morning. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for what you have done and what you're about to do. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it is written, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I need some 50 share this morning. Can I get some share this morning? Glory only at 8. Glory, hallelujah. When you are people of God and you enter a prior line, start sharing. We only see 8 share, oh God Almighty. But Father, we ask of you this morning to touch the hands of the people that are serving God, Lord God Almighty, into your kingdom. You don't want no laziness into your kingdom. Mighty God of Daniel, we need supporters into your kingdom, God Almighty. So God Almighty, I'm asking the O oh God to touch the people on the line, O oh God. Teach them how to do supporting, O oh God Almighty. Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, touch them, O oh God Almighty. Teach them how to support. We are at 20 share. We want to go at least 50 share this morning. Glory, hallelujah. Father, touch the people on the line. Let them know time is winding up. Time is winding out. Glory, hallelujah. We don't have time, O oh God Almighty, on this earth. Time is winding up. Time is running out. As I can see, they're attacking church all over. They are burning down churches. I want to tell the people of God that time is running out. Time is running out. Time is running out. Get busy, get busy serving God. Get busy, get busy serving God. Time is running out. Glory, hallelujah. I say you can fool some people sometime, but you cannot fool all the people all of the time. Mighty God, I can see all over social media, they are burning down churches. I am telling the people of God, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, people of God, wake up. They are burning down churches. Time is running out. My title this morning is 
the telepathical order that is coming from God. I tell you, say that mercy door has been closed. I don't know if somebody hearing me this morning, but mercy door has been closed. Mighty God of Daniel, the devil is on the final move. Mercy door has been closed. I said, I don't know if somebody hearing me this morning, but I just want to let you know, mercy door. God said to tell you, mercy door has been closed. Satan is on his final move. Satan is scraping up all that he can scrape up right now. People of God, we don't want the laziness. Now come on somebody. I don't know if you are soldiers of Christ but into this time you better be soldiers of Christ. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Walk out right now with the breastplate of righteousness. Stand in the gap for God because we have to be soldiers on the battlefield. La braca shata rebeke sata rabako shataya. It's not about talking about soldiers. We must be soldiers of the living God. If you are serving God, you have to be soldiers. Soldiers on the battlefield of Christ. Glory, hallelujah. We are coming up with the word. I am just warming up right now and waiting on the share. We are at 33 share. I am still waiting for the rest of share. I say we need 50 share this morning. Oh God Almighty. Yvette, good morning to you. Merle, good morning, good morning, good morning. Rosetta Cole, good morning. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am coming up with the word, but I am here to tell somebody this morning into the camp of the Almighty God. God is not looking for lazy people, even though the people is getting fight into the churches. God is not looking for lazy people. God is looking for soldiers on battlefield. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Get into your spiritual military outfit and ready for war. Glory, hallelujah. We are ready for Holy Ghost war. I do anything. Hallelujah. You. We are ready for Holy Ghost war. Rabaka sata rebeke sata rabako sataya. Ready for Holy Ghost war. Hallelujah. Truly and good morning. Thank you for joining. Keep sharing the line as we go through. Hallelujah. Because God is the up top boss. There is none like God. There is none before him and there will be none after him. It don't matter who come. It don't matter who tried to hold back. I said there is none like God. There is none before him. And there will be none after him. Glory. Hallelujah. Give the Lord God Almighty some praise. Hallelujah. I 
Thank you so much for giving me 50 share. Now I can go through with the message is of God, but let me let you hear and worship a bit more. Thank you so much. You can still keep sharing the videos. Glory, hallelujah. I must say Facebook. Good morning to you, Facebook. How are you doing? Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Kasha Park. Good morning, Tivoli Gardens. Good morning, New York City. Good morning, uh, Brooklyn. Good morning, Canada. Good morning, Portmore. Give the Lord some praise. Good morning, uh, Walton Park Road. Good morning, Jamaica. Good morning, I love you. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Declaration for women right now as we speak. Uh, I am a woman of excellence, a virtuous woman, a God-fearing woman, a courageous woman. I am a blessed woman, a valuable woman. I was designed for a particular purpose. I am loved, protected, and empowered by God. Greatness exists in me. Hallelujah. Greatness exists in me. I am aware that there is life and death within the power of the tongue. Therefore, I declare that I will endeavor to bless all those who I come in contact with. I will bless and not curse. I am mandated to effect change and make positive impact in this world. I denounce and reject every negative thing spoken over my life and in the life of my loved ones. They will have no effect. Glory, hallelujah, it will have no effect. I have everything I need to accomplish my purpose. I am whole in my body, my mind, my soul, and my spirit. I am blessed in every area of my life, physically, socially, mentally, financially, relationally, and interpersonally. I speak peace, I speak wealth, prosperity, wisdom, courage, favor, and success into my life and into the light of my loved ones. I am special. Divine is valuable. I have a purpose in life. With the preservations and God's help, I will accomplish my purpose. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Our topic today is the telepathical order of God. So God send a specific order to the massive, to the crew, to the people, whether you are Christians or non-Christians. The Almighty God sent an order to you for 2024. We are also still in the book of Job chapter 5, 1 to verse 3. But before we read the Bible, we are going to go through with the message. The message go like this. Yahweh is personalizing, is reasoning with his people. Now, you have to get yourselves in line 
to hear from God directly. I am not sure if you're hearing me and I'm not sure if you're following me. Good morning, Karen Rowe. Joy, hey, good morning. Thank you for joining. Juliette Potter, good morning. The telepathical orders coming from God for 2024. Telepathical orders, that means God is speaking to you live and direct. Live and direct. Good morning, Nicol Nicholas Pennant from Clarendon. Big up yourself, all Claridonians. Glory, hallelujah. You're most welcome, my dear. The telepathical order coming from God, coming from Yahweh for 2024 and beyond. The telepathical orders coming from our Father, Yahweh, for 2024 and beyond. Yahweh is personalizing, is reasoning with the people. So he's personalizing his reasoning with you and I. Now you have to get yourselves in line to hear from God directly. The Almighty God tells me the Holy Spirit dwells within me. God lives within me. God dwells within me. He tells me to tell you. I should let the people know they should clean up their vessels. I don't know if you are hearing what I am saying to you. Yahweh said, divine, tell my people to clean up their vessels. I cannot serve food into dirty vessels. So the almighty God is having an issue with our vessels. The almighty God says, I should let the people know they should clean up their vessels. Your vessels must be clean. Your vessel must be clean thoroughly for 2024 and beyond. The year of the rising of the Antichrist. So because the Antichrist is about to resurrect and rise to the world, God's people must clean up their vessels that God can pour spiritual food within their vessel to stand strong and firm within the tribulation of the Antichrist. The year of exposed. God will about to expose a lot of people for 2024, the year of the exposures, for fake, for fake leaders, fake pastors, fake prophets, fake evangelists, fake apostles, the year that will expose all the fakers. 2024, so God's people, the Almighty God said to let you know you should clean up your vessel that he can pour within the realm of the spirit. Uh, brand new anointing and new food within your vessel. He cannot serve you new anointing and new food into dirty vessels. This year is a significant year. 2024 is going to be a significant year. Satan is exposing all his leaders. I don't know if you are following me. Are you following what I am saying? If you are following text on the line, following. 
Lucifer is exposing and displaying all his leaders, all his children into the body of Christ and all his followers. So Satan walking out up front 2024. Are you following me? Charlene said, yes, I am following. Joy says, I am following. Welcome every time I come. She says she's following. I said, listen up very keenly and carefully. And don't get it twisted. 2024. The, this year is very significant. Satan, that's Lucifer, is exposing all his leaders in the churches. Listen up, people of God. Satan is showing the world all his leaders that take root in the church and running churches. And his followers will be showing off themselves in great display. So Satan is about to show the world how powerful he is. Even in the churches. He's showing you his fake pastors. Fake evangelists. Fake prophets. He's showing you all of them. People that he literally build to power. I know this will be some big surprise. For a lot of people here are listening me, listening under the sound of my voice. I am telling you this morning, I am telling you, thus said the Lord thy God. I am just giving you the heads up of what is happening. Because when God talked, no dog, no bark. I am telling you what the Lord said to tell you. So the beauty about God and God alone, Yahweh, he makes Satan doing what he has to do to show the world you recognize he was a fake. Did you recognize that that one over there was a fake? Well, God is about to expose everybody. Satan is going to display all his pastors because in case you didn't know, always remember that God created you and me and God also created Satan. God created, Yahweh created you and I, and he also created Satan. Always remember that Satan was a chief musician in heaven. Always remember that Satan was running the choir in heaven. So Satan know the ins and the outs. Satan know how to subtly come and snatch you and your soul. So Satan using a lot of past people, putting them in the churches as pastors, as evangelists, as prophets, give them a whole lot of money, build state of the heart churches, and promoting them to dominate the world, to show off, what you think is of God. And when the divine people come, the real people of God come, you don't want to hear nothing what they have to say. When the truth comes to you, thus said the Lord, you don't want to hear because the first thing you're doing is saying that is not of God, but I am happy. I am really happy that exposing going on now. It makes my job much easier. It makes my prophetic work easier. So when I prophesy and all of those who believe that I am fake, it make it much easier because there is not a prophet, prophetic word that God has given me that did not come to pass. There is not a tsunami that I pray and says, God send down the tsunami that didn't come. There is not an earthquake that I pray and says, God, this one need to get some earthquake and teach them a lesson that didn't come. There 
there is not a fire that I didn't pray and says God sent some fire that didn't come. Glory, hallelujah. It doesn't matter how many people join in the line. I don't care. Zero. The greatest thing that I have come with the word. I have given you the warning and I know the Bible says we're one. Two and three are gathered. It doesn't matter the numbers. God Almighty is in the midst. So it doesn't matter if it's only 70 of you on the line and social media. It doesn't matter how much of you are on the line. The greatest thing that I came with the word and I delivered the word and said, Thus said the Lord thy God and I keep moving. I am not watching the following. I am watching what God told me to do and I'm just doing it to the best of my ability. Him. So I am here to let a lot of you people of God and Christians recognize that a lot of you right now have been broken hearts because the people that you were looking up to as big time, big shot pastors and evangelists as failed you. Glory, hallelujah, the people that you looked up to, bow down to, and run and spend a lot of millions of dollars traveling the world to go see. You went and go visit Lucifer's son. You went and visit you Lucifer's daughter. Glory, hallelujah, that is the same way God is about to appear. And when God come, you step past God as if you didn't even recognize that was God. Because you are not seeing the crowd, you are not seeing the following. But I am here to let somebody know when God appeared to you, you're just going to wonder who is this one. Glory, hallelujah. God is about to enter this planet earth so simple underneath this guys. You're going to wonder, is that God? I couldn't believe that's him. Glory, hallelujah. So Satan has already deceived you even in the church. Even in the churches, Satan has deceived you and collect a lot of money. I knew that something was not right. From I hear them selling Jesus, PayPal, medicine, bank account, my data. And the more you sow the seed, is the more God will bless you. I'm like, God, something about this kind of preaching is not right. Because how on earth they are selling you? When did you tell them you want all this kind of money? I said within my spirit and within my soul, I know something wasn't adding up. That is why the world has so much crimes and violence. That is why the world is in so much chaos because even the gunman them know say on a fake. Glory, hallelujah. Even the murderers know that you guys are selling Jesus and you are fake. They are not taking any chat from you. Glory, hallelujah. So now is the time of exposure. Satan will prove himself to you. Satan will show the world who he really is. Satan will show the world and says, world, I am rolling deep. La braca shata rebeke shata because Satan trying to overthrow God. But there is no way in God's cabinet Satan can overthrow God. God has made us all good and evil. So in case you did not know, God has made us all. God Almighty has made the good and he has made the evil. God Almighty has made such you and I. So he has made Satan also. So in case you're wondering where Satan came from. You may be wondering where did this guy pop up from. God has made him too. He just decided to get hype. God has created Lucifer. God has created you and I. He was God's prize angel in heaven. His name wasn't Lucifer then. Him just get very hype. Because he's into a, a high glory. He's running the, the throne room with praise. So him just get hype and believe that. Glory, hallelujah. Satan just believe that him hype and him can overthrow God. But God is showing Satan said, I can give you the world to run. But when I come, you have to take away yourself. Good morning, Dwight Campbell. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. So I am here to let you know that God has made good and he has made evil. God has made you and he has made I. 
And God has made Lucifer also. So all the churches that are getting exposed, don't put your hands on your head and say, Oh, I don't believe it. You better believe it. They are underneath the order of Lucifer. Satan is proving that he's rolling deep. Satan is proving that I am in competition with God. Satan is letting the world know I am heavyweight. Satan is letting the world know I am heavyweight champion. Come and bow to me. I run this thing. Satan is trying to tell the world I run the globe. Come and bow to me and worship me. I give all your pastors that is so rich wealth. And because you would not believe Satan have to expose not just their faces, but expose their doings to let you know they were in the closet all along worshiping me. That's what Satan is trying to tell you. Even though they come out on a Sunday morning worshiping God, they were behind closed door worshiping me. And Satan trying to let you know I am not just exposing them. I am showing you what they were doing in the closet. A lot of people and a lot of pastors, a lot of evangelists bowing right now to Satan. Collecting riches from the devil. They are collecting wealth, living huge, living lavish lifestyle, having aeroplane, having state of the heart church, have millions of followers. Satan giving out them all the money that they want to spend and look huge because one thing with the devil, the devil like when his people and his followers are high profile. One thing with Lucifer, Lucifer likes when his people move high profile. He just want to prove a point on the Almighty God, but hold up. Pastors, evangelists, prophets, you have to be very careful. You are finding yourselves in great embarrassment in the public space. Secretly worshipping Satan and publicly, publicly worshipping God. I don't know if somebody hearing me today. I said, pastors, you're finding yourselves in embarrassing state. <laughs> you're finding yourselves in, in, into embarrassing state. Secretly worshipping the devil and collecting the devil's money. To live very lavishly lifestyle and publicly serving God. So you're secretly worshipping Satan and collecting his money. Doing your booty shake and all that. And in the eyes of the public you are worshipping God as if you think God Almighty is dumb. So what the devil does into 2024 is to show the world that listen up now i am rolling deep even this heavyweight pastor i i have him too even this name brand pastor i have this one too glory hallelujah do you know how many sacrifices they gave to me the devil is exposing every one of you glory hallelujah the devil just want to prove on god almighty that he is rolling deeper I have already teaches you about Baal. So underneath the Baal worshipping, that's where the devil falls in. So all of them brand pastors that you see coming out into lavish lifestyle, they are worshipping Baal. Baal represents Satan. So the Baal pastors, the Baal worshippers are on the forefront. Living very huge. Playing as if they are the man. Playing as if they are the top prophets. Playing as if they are hearing from God. And all they know how to do is stand in the church. Touch you and says. 
I know your name and know your address. That's not prophetic. You want to know prophetic is when someone says, Father, they're not behaving themselves down here. Send them some earthquake and shake the earth. That's prophetic. Prophetic is not about, I know your name, I know your number. Do you, do you born on the 8th of May 2024? Is, do you have a mother by the name of John J, um, Mary Jane? Do you have a father by the name of John Brown? Uh, just say prophesy. That's not prophetical. That's not prophecy. That's fake is here. That's fake is here. Hallelujah. Prophetic prophecies when somebody come and you can say, okay, you are playing with God. Let me tell God to send you something that you won't like. And then you start to bet the real prophet and says, who you think you are? Let me see it done. You just tell God within a couple of days, you hear that there is a place catching a fire with volcanoes. That's prophetic. Baal is at the forefront. Page of fan base. Christ has still been disrespected by soul sellers. Glory, hallelujah. I'm not sure if you're following me. Come on, everybody. I said Baal worshippers are at the forefront. Having the most high profile fan base pages. Christ has still been disrespected by these soul sellers. They hold back the believers of Christ. They hold back the chosen ones. They try to hold back the righteous people. They try to pull back your message as the chosen. And they are promoting graven image. False teaching. And they are putting the false teaching at the front page. And also putting graven image at the forefront. So when God's real people come out to do what God told them to do. They push them behind and put on the forefront the Baal liars, the Baal worshippers, the graven image. And the Bible told you, you shall not worship graven image. As I tell you and as I prophesy and as I tell you, thus said the Lord, the Lord says fire will be your portion. Fire will be your portion. I am very sorry to tell you this. I'm very sorry to disappoint you, my people. But my father says fire will be your portion. Fire will be your portion, says the Almighty God. Fire shall be your ending. Are you hearing me? Bridget and Donna and Nadine, how are you? Good day. Thank you for joining. Margaret, thank you for joining. Fire will be your portion, all you Baal worshippers, all you secret cults. Fire will be your portion. Says the Almighty God. Fire shall be your ending. Fire, fire, fire. Says the Almighty God. How many of you on the line wants to die. And not entering the pearly gates. I am here to let you know. The fire will take you here on earth before you die. Thus said the Lord thy God. They are teaching you when you die. 
the fire will burn you. But I am here to let you know today. Thus said the Lord thy God. I will place the fire on you before you depart this earth. I will give you the misery that you deserve before you leave the earth, says God. I will send the floods to you before you leave this earth, says God. I will send the volcanoes to you before you depart this earth, says the Almighty God. I will send rivers of flooding water to you before you leave this earth, says the Almighty God. I will send you diverse earthquake before you depart this earth, says God. All you Baal worshippers. You see, I am God, says God, but I am very rough. I am God, I am a very good God, but always remember, I am God, says God, I created good and evil. When you see the good side of God, try to love and appreciate the good side of the Almighty God. The Almighty God created good and he created evil. The repentance door. Listen carefully now. We are at number 10 of the order I went through. Nine of the orders is already the final order. The repentance door. Listen very, very keenly now. Because this one is about to shock you. This one is about to shock the world now says God. The repentance door has been closed. I know this one is going to shock you now. The repentance door has been closed, says God. The forgiveness door has been closed, says God. The prayer line doors has been closed, says God. The acceptance door has been closed, says God. Depart from me. Prepare for the devil and his angels, say the Lord thy God. Those who are holy, let him be holy still. Thus said the Lord thy God, and those who are filthy, let him be filthy still. I don't know if you heard what I just said at number 10. I will repeat it again. I know a lot of you as believers are trying to get it. I want you to listen very careful. This is an order coming from the Lord God, the telepathic order coming from God 2024 and beyond. Listen the last word. We are at number 10. The repentance door has been closed. Thus said the Lord God. The forgiveness doors has been closed. Thus said the Lord God. The mercy door. The mercy door has been closed. Thus said the Lord God. The prior line doors has been closed, says the Lord God. The acceptance door has been closed. Depart from me.
prepare for the devil and his angels, said the Lord thy God. Those who are holy, let him be holy still. Those who are righteous, let him be righteous still, thou said the Lord thy God. And those who are filthy, let him be filthy still. Job 5, 1 to verse 3. I will read that. So God Almighty Yahweh has reached to the point where he's saying, Depart from me. Get out of my sight. Prepare for Lucifer and his angels, his friends. Just depart from me. Just depart from me. I never know you. I've had enough of this. How many of you understand this message this morning? We're going to read Job. Verse 3 says, I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I curse his inhabitation. That's the word of God. I hope that you have received the word this morning with love. I hope that you have received the word this morning with truth. I hope that you have received the word this morning with understanding. I hope you did not misunderstood the word. A lot of us hear a word and they misunderstood it. A lot of us hear the word and they are not understanding it. The Almighty God says, I am working telepathically into this season. It don't matter how many scriptures you want to match up. I am working telepathically with the people, with my chosen. I will reveal to them secrets that you have never known. I will tell them what is coming next and what is coming next and how to prepare. So if you are children of God, you have to get your vessel clean. As I speak, I hear the Holy Spirit says, repeat number one again for them. And let their, let their listen to number one once more. Number one said, Yahweh is personalizing. Is reasoning with his people. Now you have to get your vessels, you have to get yourselves in line to hear directly from God. Number two says, the Almighty says, I should let the people know they should clean up their vessels. 
Your vessels must be clean through 2024. The year of the rising of the Antichrist. So the Almighty God wants His people to keep their vessel clean. 2024 is the year of the Antichrist when a lot of churches and pastors and evangelists and all of them people are going to be exposed. God is cleaning the church out of the churches. So a lot of people who you believe were Keep taking your soul to heaven with them. They were taking your soul to hell with them. So the Almighty God not depending on any pastors right now. To secure souls for his kingdom. He will deal with you one on one. He will deal with you telepathically. So all the doors has been closed. So that is the reason why you are praying too much crime and you recognize instead of the crime going down, it is getting worse. Instead of crime going down, it's getting worse because all the doors has been closed. Thus said the Lord thy God. It is a very harsh reality. But I got to do what God told me to do to let you know. Stop playing games with God. I just got to do what I got to do. Stop playing games with the Almighty God. Mercy door has been closed. Repentance door has been closed. Forgiveness door has been closed. Mercy door has been closed. The prayer line door has been closed. The acceptance door has been closed, says God. And his final word into this prophecy says, depart from me. Get out of my sight. Prepare for the devil and his angels, thus said the Lord thy God. How can you let it reach to this situation, people? Hallelujah! How can you let it reach to this situation where God is saying, Depart from me, I don't know you. So all of you big shot pastors that are coming out and crying and say, That is the light God said to tell the world that is the truth. Good morning, Unstoppable Richards. Good morning, Mistress Nichols. How are you doing? It's a pity you just joined. We have finished the, 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 the live. You joined late. But it reaches a stage where God is saying, Depart from me. Get out of my sight. I don't know you. Prepare for Lucifer and his angels. Says God. I am not the best person you want to hear this word from. But that's what God told me to tell you. So the first place that is getting judged is in the church. The first place that is getting clean up to let the world see it is in the church. You see when you preach. And when you teach, a lot of people puff their faces because they don't want you to talk nothing negative about a church. I am not speaking negative now, says God. I am telling you what the Holy Spirit gave me to give you now. If you doubt me, take it up to God and say, Father, did you told divine to tell us depart from you because all the doors have been closed? Go and take it up to God. Go on your knees and take it up to him if he will answer you anyhow. Take it up 
to God if you don't understand this message, if he will answer your prayers. You recognize these days a lot of people praying and not getting an answer and saying, God, why you are not answering me? All these doors has been closed. Repentance door has been closed. Forgiveness door has been closed. The prayer line door has been closed. The acceptance doors has been closed. And God is saying, depart from me. I don't know you prepare for devil and his angels. Prepare for Satan and his entourage. That means God is telling you, get out of my sight. I don't know you. Don't call my name. God is saying, don't call my name. Get out of my sight. Prepare for Satan and his angels. So even in the churches, people come and tell you that they are pastors and come as agent of light. Preaching and teaching the word of God and doing everything that you thought was holy and all, all along they were just using the name of God to collect your cash. And styling the almighty God when well, it reached a point where God said get out of my sight. So all of you pastors and bishops who have sinned against God. And speaking about you will pray for forgiveness. God is telling you this morning all the mercy door and the forgiveness door has been closed. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Get out of my sight. I am God. I sit high and I look low and I know your heart from beginning. I knew it was all a sham from day one. But I let, you, I let the devil have dominion over you because you play church too much. You play church and play with God Almighty name too much. So now the devil have dominion over you. Always remember I God says God. I created the good and I created the evil. I created you and I also created the devil. Get out of my sight, says God. Almighty God and Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you for the word. Father, I thank you so much for instill within me, O oh God, a clean heart. Renewing right spirit within me, Lord, I thank you for girding my lines this morning to bring forth the word, I thank you. Lord, I hope that the people will accept the word, O oh God Almighty, with good intention. Lord, I hope that they will accept the word into their spirit, O oh God Almighty, without indictive feeling. Lord, I am only a vessel that you use to come and tell you, thus said the Lord, and move right along. I don't care zero, God Almighty, what they want to think. Oh, God, I just only care about what you are saying to me and what I should do, God. Father, I'm asking thee, O oh God, to cover your woman servant. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, cover the people that join the line. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, O oh God. I thank you so much. Lord, I thank you for loving us. I thank you for being who you are for us. I thank you for the sun that shine. I thank you for the rain that fall. I thank you for the beautiful trees, oh God. I thank you for the wind that blow to give us fresh air, oh God. We still thank you because you are a merciful God, even though some people just try to play stylings. But God, I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you, oh God. I just want to give you thanks. Now and forevermore, I humble pray. Hallelujah. Give the Lord God Almighty some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. My people, it was a pleasure serving you this morning. If you cannot be good, be careful. Love God and live. 
If you hate him, you will die. And always remember, do not play church. Do not play stylings with the Almighty God. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Let no one judge you. And you must judge no one lest he be judged. Never you sit and say you don't believe what you heard some people been doing. This is the year 2024, the year of exposing. So 2024 is the rising of the Antichrist. And you know the Antichrist is led by Lucifer. So because the Antichrist is led by Lucifer... Lucifer is showing the world that he's rolling deep. Even your high profile pastor that you thought was into the body of Christ. He's also into the body of Lucifer. So this is nothing that you should feel bad about. Just let the exposure go on. And you just make sure you clean your vessel that God can speak with you directly. Remember that I love you, but quite remember, God Almighty loves you more. Have a blessed and productive day today. What? Shalom. I will close you out with what you love as always, your music. God bless you, my people. Take good care. Thank God. Come on, come on.
Oh! 